Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have an eight by eight inch canvas and I've put a light coat of my uh, base coat around the edges in the corners to help the paint move. And today I'm doing a collab with Katherine Jenkins of Katherine the Paint. And I will list her channel uh, link in the description. And we're both going to do what we're going to call a summer bloom. And let's go over my paints. My base coat is just um, Easy Care Ultra Premium House Paint. And my colors today, I'm using all of the Color Art Primary Elements. And let's go over those. My first one is Emerald. My second one is Kiwi. My third one is Yellow Rose. The next one I'm using is Cranberry. And the last one is Hot Cinnamon. And I will tell you my pouring medium for these. It was, let me find it here. One tablespoon of the uh, Vivid Enamel, which is a color art product. That's one tablespoon. One tablespoon of the triple thick polyurethane. And I just mixed that up and I divided it in my little cups here. And then to thin it, and I'll show you one of them here. This is the emerald. To thin it, I just use the Josana gloss varnish. Okay. And my topper is one ounce of Floetrol to one teaspoon of the Amsterdam Titanium White. And I'll show you that. So let's get started. First, I'm going to lay down my pillow paint here. And now I'll just start laying down my colors. I will start with the emerald, I think. I hope everyone's having a good day today. And um, let's talk a little bit about Catherine the Paint. Catherine has done a lot of blooms, very, very pretty blooms. And she also does a lot of resin work, a lot of resin coasters, really, really pretty resin work. So a very talented artist. So again, I encourage you to go to her channel and check her out. And I wanna thank Catherine personally for doing this collab with me today. Is that cinnamon color, the red cinnamon, the hot cinnamon it's called. And I will top it with this, the yellow color, very pretty. I think I will put a little bit more green in here. Okay, and now I will put my, uh, my topper on. So for those of you that are new to the bloom technique, I did not take the class, but this is called the pillow, and then you have your paint, and this is the topper. There are many different um, pouring mediums out there that you can use for this type of a pour. But this is the one that I'm going with today. And I will give a shout out to Kathleen Miller because it was her, this is her um, recipe for the, the bloom recipe here. And now I'm just gonna blow down and try and blow out with my straw here.
Okay, and I'm gonna let that sit just a minute. And see what comes up. And while I'm waiting, I'm just going to add a little bit more of my base coat here. Or my pillow, as they call it. Just to help that paint move when I start to spin it. And when you torch with house paint, you have to be very careful because, and I'm sure a lot of the other artists on YouTube will tell you that, that you can scorch your paint. So you want to do it fast and not real close to your paint. Just spreading the paint out here a little bit. And I am liking the colors that I'm seeing. Okay. Let, let's give it a spin and see what we get here. Okay, let's give it a spin the other way. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tip it a little bit. Just to move my paint in this direction a little. Since my... um. Flower was not really, really centered when I started out. I'm just going to help it along here a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to try spinning it again. I am loving the colors so far. And I'll try the other way. And I think I'll give it another spin. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this cinnamon in the middle here with the topper, maybe some more purple too. Just playing around here. I'm going to blow that around a little bit.
okay? And I'm gonna give this another spin. And another. Okay, and I am really liking this. I think what I'm going to do is use my little teeny blow dryer here. If I can just add a little something to it, a little more dimension. I'm liking that a lot better. I'm gonna see what I can do out here on the edges. I, can, I do like wispies. So let's see what I can move around out here. You can always play with your painting until you're satisfied with it. Okay, just going to give it a quick torch. Again, this is a summer bloom. And this would be the way I'd want the picture to go, or the painting to go like that. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up, and I'll tell you the parts that I really like. Okay, everybody, this is the close-up, and this is the upper left-hand corner here. I have some negative space, which I really like there. I really am loving these colors together. This almost, to me, re reminds me of some type of a rose. And here I have some negative space also. This is the lower left-hand corner. 
and I will take you up the middle here. And I did get some lacing in here, just a little bit of lacing. Beautiful in here, love the colors. This is the upper right hand corner and down the right side. Again, I got a little bit of lacing here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. That would be great if you could share it. Uh, make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And again, thanks to Catherine the Paint for doing this collab with me. And I am excited to find out what Catherine's summer bloom is going to look like. And until next time, Take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.